Hey, what's up, Fighter? Fightman1995 here. Welcome to Super Smash Brothers. Here in this episode, we're going to be showing off how to beat the final boss in on 8.0 or higher. But this time, I I am doing the max intensity, which is 9.0, of course. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm pretty uh, competitive when it comes to Smash. So, yeah. So, anyway, first up is uh, Crazy and Master Hand. Uh, those guys are really easy to do. You shouldn't have any problem whatsoever. And they do have uh, a good. Uh, a couple of new moves that you can see, but they're not really all that important right now. So you guys should probably already know, uh, what their moves are. But anyway. This is the first section of the Master Core. This is, uh, M Master Giant. So, um, the way, uh, Master Giant works is... He does a bunch of energy balls attacks as well as grab. Just to give you guys a heads up. Like, that is one of the grabs that he does. And we got finished with uh, Master Giant, and now we enter the second form, which is the Master B. A variety of his attacks are uh, close range attacks. Like, what, that was one of them. This is his projectile. This is another close range. And he jumps around the space to face. He really likes doing that. And, and yeah. So, Master Peak you shouldn't have a problem with. But the one main problem I have with these boss is this one, the sword. Also called Master Edge. Or Master Saber in uh, the Japanese version. So, so this one has uh, a bunch of range attack, close range attack, as well as projectiles, and they can be pretty uh, hard to dodge if you're not careful, like I am right now. Keep on doing successful dodging, and you should not have any problems. And last but not least is the, uh, Master Shadow. This, uh, creates a doppelganger of yourself. But, and, of course, a clone form. And, uh, Master Shadow fights, uh, randomly. Pretty much. And the one good news is that it does not block. But my suggestion for you is to hit him as much as possible and also uh, use your projectiles to be a uh, master shadow. And you shouldn't have any problem beating him. So, anyway, this thing we're doing now is called the Master Portrait. Uh, this one can actually be pretty hard at uh, the first place, but as you play Master Fortress for long, you should not have any problem whatsoever. So I'll give you a list of uh, the four enemies. Or, well, I'm not good with names, so uh, bear with me here. So, um... So, the four enemies you have in the battlefield are, uh, one of them is, one of the enemies are, is from Metroid, uh, one of them is from, uh, Kid, Kid Icarus, which is that thing I just destroyed, uh, another one is the Plasma Whip from Kirby Theory, and the Skeleton Sword Guy, the last but not least, which is from Legend of Zelda. The hard one to me is the, the Skeleton Guy. Why is it the skeleton guy? Well, he has a shield. As you can see right now. 
uh, the laser, the, the flower that shoots laser is the next one I have pro pro problems with too. But, um, yeah. So for the master portrait, you got to uh, take down all four uh, core, and once you do that, you're finished with the portrait. And right where we are now is the second half. The one we just completed was uh, the first half. So, yeah. You want to carefully navigate through this through the platform as, as you get to this part. And for this one, you actually want to bait this guy to the acid because acid instantly kills him. But believe it or not, you can die from the acid as well on the downside of that. So, yeah. The way you die on, uh... The way you can die on... from the acid is by having 100 HP. That's the key, pretty much. Just to give y'all a heads up. So, once you've defeated the Master Forger, now it's on to the ma Master Core. Now, be aware, this Master Core does explode if you're not uh, fast enough with taking it out. So, once you get to the Master Core part, it should be easy for you to do. If it turns, like, red in that, then you pretty much fa fail to beat Master Core, and it will self-destruct and kill you. So, that's pretty much a, that's all of them. So, that pretty much wraps up for the final boss and final portrait. Just how I show that to you guys. So, so, thank you guys all so much for watching this uh, boss playthrough video, and remember, if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to drop a like. So once again, I am Fightman1995. See you all. Have a good day. Game on, my friends. And take care. Goodbye.